כחול ולבן, זה הצבע שלי. כחול ולבן, הדגל שלי. Blue and white is the Israeli flag forever, and we talked about it before, but in honor of Israel's birthday coming up, and in honor of Shabbat, we are going to make a blue and white challah. How much fun could that be? So here we are, I'm going to start with the east, east, I'm going to take two packages of Fast Active. I'm going to empty it into my bowl over here. And I'm going to add a cup and a half of warm water and let it sit aside till it bubbles. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to put a little pinch of sugar in it. And here we are with a cup and a half of warm water. And I'll show you soon it all bubbles up. Really fun. Mixing it up. Covering it. And we'll be back to it in a little while. I put a towel over it. And set it aside. See you soon. A little active east. And in the meantime, we're going to take the flour and get all ready. I'm going to make a well. I got four cups of flour. Making a well in the middle, like that. Getting three eggs cracked into it. One, two, three, adding a pinch of salt and the rest of my sugar. And see you soon. Blue and white, the Israeli flag. There we go, I'm standing by my flag, my blue and white flag, a degel sheli. My flag is blue and white. So here we are, we are making a blue and white challah, right in time for Shabbat and getting ready for Israel's birthday. So I'm showing you my bubbling east over here that we laid to stand on the side for 15 minutes. I'm going to mix it in with the eggs and the sugar. And of course, we have to add a quarter cup of oil. And guess what? Two teaspoons of salt. Whoa, it's gonna have sugary and salty flavors. Now you say sugar in Hebrew? Real easy. Sukkah. Now you say salt in Hebrew? Melach. Like the Dead Sea. Yam Amelach, the Sea of Salt. So I'm mixing all my ingredients and incorporating it into the well. And I'm going to add on it. So now we're starting to work out the flour. Incorporate all the ingredients. What do we have in here? We have four cups of flour, three eggs, quarter cup of oil, a quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of salt. Did I forget anything? Don't think so, but it's still turning out to be white. 
I wonder how we're going to make it blue. So I'm incorporating, I'm trying to get it real fast. It's a job. So we know to say salt, we say melach. Sugar, we say sukkah. And flour, we say, we call it kemach. Kemach, kemach, min asa. Got flour, see my mush? Soon I'm going to stick my hands in there and work it up. First it has to leave the sides of the bowl. Still have more to put it all together. Incorporate it. Remember, you want to put some flour on your workspace so the dough doesn't stick to it. You want to spread a little flour. And put it together. There we were. Might need to add more flour to help you put it together. I'm putting it on my surface here and I'm folding it from the back to the front and then turning it over and again folding it. And you have a nice ball, you should divide it. We are going to make two challahs out of this dough. So I'm dividing the dough to two. You can use a knife. Putting it aside for a minute. And the second part, the second portion, I'm dividing to three, because only one strand is going to be blue. Only one strand. So I'm going to divide this area to three. One, two, three. And I'm going to add blue dye to one of the portions. Here's a kosher vegan dye. I'm supposed to put a few, as many as 20 drops, but this is a little bit. My fingers are going to get blue, but it really doesn't matter because I want to make a blue and white color, right guys? So it's going to take a little bit of doing to incorporate it. I think I should put a few more drops since I've never really made a blue and white color. Here we go. Should be about 20 drops. It'll be nice and blue. And we're going to come back to it in a moment. Now we're back, I think. The dough is all ready to be worked. Look at this. We have, see children, we have six balls. Five are white, and one of them is the blue one. This is the blue one we're going to use for the blue and white challah. So I'm going to take my blue and two white ones. And I'm going to roll them. They're nice and fluffy now. I'm going to roll them into a long string. I'm going to roll the next one. What's missing? Oh, the blue one. Okay, area but Cheva. Let's get the blue one up there. Nice and long. There we go with the blue. Should I put it in the middle or on the side? I think I should start in the middle. Ooh. There we go. 
Ready or not. Okay, so how do we braid the column? We join all the three edges together, like so. And to turn it towards you. In my white, blue, and white. I have three. You can braid a challah in fours. Let's see if I can do that in the next batch. So there we go. I'm going to pull it just like a braid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom. Look at this. Pretty cool. Blue and white. I'm going to place it in a well-oiled tin and let it rise again. Let me see. See how cool it is? Very cool. Let me try to roll into fours. I'm going to try to divide it and see if I can make a braid of four. You ready to help me? Can you count to four? How do we count till four in Hebrew? Remember? Let's do it together. Echad, Stein, Shalosh, Arba. Okay, I'm making them nice and long. Rolling it out. And we're rolling them and braiding them and we're going to put them aside for about an hour or so, 45 minutes for it to, ro to rise again, because we need the challah to rise twice. I'm also going to take a little piece of the rest of it to lafrish challah. That's a different story, which I'll tell you some other time. So how many I have now, guys? Echad, Stein, Shalosh, Arba. Ready? I'm going to pinch the corner with all four of them. And I'm going to braid it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, okay, you got four of them. I'm going to put it next to her blue and white brother over there and my tin. Going to cover them. And when they'll be doubled or so in size, we're going to glaze them with eggs and some sesame seeds. Some of you like chocolate chips, but let's see what it comes in a little while. Okay, see you soon. There we are. Here are the two chalas, the blue and white, and whole white one. I brushed some egg yolk on top of them and spread some sesame seeds, and they're ready to go in the oven, to the oven, into the oven. Uh, the oven is on 375. It just beeped, actually. I'm going to put it in for 30 minutes, and I'll show you the results very soon. Chalas, chalas. Blue and white and regular. Hi everyone, here are the chalas all nicely browned out of the oven. I'm going to take them from my baking dish and put it on Shabbat challah board. Here's the blue and white, all nicely baked. And here's the other one. I'm going to cover it. I'm going to make the blessing. Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Amotzi Lechem Min Haaretz Amen. Let me see this beautiful blue and white chara. I'm going to cut it. Show off. Oh well, it's 
not as blue as I wished for it to be, but please put more coloring, more food coloring in your challah, because the blue came a little pale. But hopefully, when you do it, you squeeze a little more dye into it. Shabbat Shalom, and enjoy your challahs. There we go. Here are the challahs. This one is probably bluer than the first one. Let's see how blue this is. So before we unveil the blue challah, blue and white challah, let's make a blessing for the bread. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, hamotzi lechen min haaretz. Let's see. It's a nice fluffy challah, but let's see how blue it is. Used all the blue I have. It's as blue as we can get it. Blue and white color for Israel Independence Day, for Israel's birthday, special anniversary, 72nd anniversary. Happy birthday, Israel! Thank you.